Hey guys, I just wanted to share uh, something I figured out regarding cases that come with magnetic dust filters at the top. Uh, it's fine if you've got them on intake, like the, the filter will obviously do something, but if you've got them on exhaust, uh, your top fans on exhaust, remove the filter when the system's running. Because, you know, dust isn't going to be coming in when air's blowing out, but these filters are actually super restrictive. And I never really thought much of it until I replaced my top fans with a stronger 140mm fan. Uh, this one's 85 CFM, and I've got a stress test running just to demonstrate. But basically, if I put my hand here, I can barely feel any air coming through. Um, there is air coming through if I put this microfiber cloth on top. And this is with the fan running at a higher fan speed, like probably around 80%. You can see there's air obviously pushing this microfiber cloth up. But if I take the filter off, there's just a ton more air coming through. So, I'll put the same. You can see that the cloth thumb, once it's over, <laughs> it is moving a lot more. Like it won't stay still. There we go. So you can see that there's way more air coming through. This isn't really a scientific test, but it's just anyone with a, with a top filter and exhaust fans. Turn the fans up and try taking the filter off and just feel the air. And yeah, it's, it's like night and day difference. So, put the filter back on. You won't see the cloth doing that same flippery thing as easily. Like it does, you can see air is coming out because the cloth is getting pushed up but obviously it's not strong enough to even like if I just push it flat that's about what you're seeing so there is a coming out it's just not as strong and obviously that's going to affect how much heat's getting exhausted so I'll take it off again the exact fan is a metallic gear uh, I think it's called Skiron 140mm, so it's 85 CFM at higher fan speeds. But you can see here that like, the whole thing wants to fly away if I let go of it. Well, before it was fairly easy. Like, if I see if I put my hand on it now, that's that's air trying to come out around the sides so that the ends are actually I'm able to get them to flutter a bit just like that with the filter back on I mean this is common sense already I mean most people already know that filters are restrictive but you know you buy a case with a top top filter and I guess it's easy to to think that oh yeah I'll just leave it on because it stops dust See if I move this around there's no more there's not enough air coming through to make that really do anything. So yeah, I'm just sharing this to, to make everyone aware that it does make a big difference to take that filter off and just have your, have your normal mesh um, instead to improve airflow. I mean, even if you had it on intake, it would still make a big difference, but then you've got the dust to worry about, so I guess there's more reasoning to have a filter on when you're intaking. And uh, also, generally, I think Gamers Nexus and Linus Tech Tips did a test on this, but if you've got, like, I've got 200mm fans similar to the H500, um, this is the Techware Forge, but if you've got intake at the front, and then you've got exhaust at the top, and the front exhaust is close to the front intake, Air's going to come in here and get sucked out the, the front exhaust, which is why I don't have a fan in the front, and I ended up moving my the other 140 mil fan I, I bought. I took away the stock 120 and put this 140 here, but having it exhausting here is kind of pointless because it creates a vortex. Like You'll have less fresh air from the front getting to the CPU cooler and getting to the chipset compared to just having no fan or having an intake fan as the first fan. Even though there's thermodynamics and they say, you know, hot air rises, hot air from the GPU, hot air from the GPU 
is going to get pushed towards the back of the case because the fans at the front are pushing air this way, right? So hot air would naturally go towards the rear fan and the, the fan above the CPU cooler because that's where most of the heat's coming from. So yeah, this front area does not need a, a fan here working against the front intake. You can just have it on empty or, or intake as well. Because then if you have intake here, you're going to be preventing the heat from the GPU going towards your RAM and directing more of it through the CPU and towards the back end of the case. So that's just something I want to share as well um, about airflow. Because I, I originally thought, you know, front in, front or bottom in and top and rear out because that's the standard that's been for years like everyone just says that's thermodynamics hot air rises and top is exhaust but after looking up um, tests done on cases with the the front and then the two or three fans at the top it turns out that having the forward fans intake was actually giving better temps so yeah anyway cheers guys thanks for watching